Bullying is a social issue that many people think lightly about when in all reality it's becoming more and more of an issue. Many people think that bullying is just a normal occurrence in your middle and high school career, but it is an ongoing battle for some individuals. There's four different types of bullying, all of which are not acceptable. These four types of bullying are physical, verbal, covert or hidden, and cyberbullying. Bullying causes a lot of people to have low self-confidence and negatively impacts someone's mental health and well-being and sadly will often lead to suicide. Physical bullying includes hitting, kicking, tripping, pinching, and pushing, and also includes damaging property. Verbal bullying is any name-calling, insults, teasing, intimidation, and homophobic or racist remarks. Covert or hidden bullying is carried out behind someone's back and is anything designed to harm someone's social reputation or cause humiliation. Cyberbullying is bullying someone by using digital technology, like abusive or hurtful texts, emails, posts, images, or videos. Many people are shocked when they hear the results or statistics of bullying. According to statistics reported by ABC News, nearly 30% of students are either bullies or victims of bullying, and 160,000 kids stay home from school every day because of fear of bullying. According to NoBullying.com, 75% of school shootings have been linked to harassment and bullying against the shooter. That site also says that students who are bullies as young adults continue the trend of abuse and violence into adulthood. By the age of 30, approximately 40% of boys who were identified as bullies in middle and high school had been arrested three or more times. NoBullying.com says that about 28% of students in grades 6 through 12 experience some form of bullying. Over 30% of students admit to bullying classmates and peers. About 50% of the time, when an adult intervenes in a bullying incident, it stops within 10 seconds. This is why addressing the problem often cuts down on bullying incidents that happen daily and rescues many students from being bullied. How would you feel if you witnessed a fellow student be bullied and then heard later on that they took their own life because no one intervened? The sad truth is that this occurs more often than people realize. 4,500 kids commit suicide each year due to cyberbullying, according to Cyberbully Hotline. Students who experience bullying report the allying and supportive actions from their peers, such as spending time with the student, talking to him or her, helping him or her get away, or giving advice were the most helpful actions from bystanders. According to studies by Yale University, bully victims are between two to nine times more likely to consider suicide than non-victims. For people 15 to 24 years old, suicide is the third leading cause of death. There is one completed suicide for every 15 attempted suicides, and specifically among young adults ages 15 to 24, there are approximately 100 to 200 attempts of every one completed suicide. Some of the stories of kids committing suicide because of bullying are even more shocking than the statistics. An article posted on WXYZ.com astonished many readers when a seven-year-old boy hanged himself after being bullied by other kids from his school and neighborhood. Another story posted on PopSugar.com is when 12-year-old Ronan Shimizu took his own life because he was being made fun of for being on the cheer team. Canadian teen Amanda Todd was abused, bully, harassed, and stalked online and in person. She used self-harm, drugs, and alcohol in an attempt to silence the pain she suffered as a result of cyberbullying. Amanda tried drinking bleach but was saved at the last minute. A few months later, she took her own life. A 14-year-old girl was found hanged in her bedroom after receiving hate messages on her Ask FM page where they told her to cut herself, drink bleach, and kill herself. At only 12 years old, a girl jumped from the top of a factory located in Florida. According to the investigation, she endured more than a year of being bullied, and before she killed herself, she changed her Ask FM page to That Dead Girl. There are many different foundations and groups that are working to put a stop to bullying. Even celebrities are fighting against it. Celebrities such as Demi Lovato, Nick Cannon, Paul McCartney, Ellen DeGeneres, Lady Gaga, and many more are supporters of the anti-bullying foundation, Stomp Out Bullying. Sometimes it seems like there's no way to help stop bullying, and if it's not directly affecting you, then you don't often see it as a problem and don't think much of it. Simply being nice and showing care for a victim could save their life. We can all do our part to help stop bullying by being careful with what we say, do, or text to our peers.